Hey Internet! Color Farty's back for the second bonus video of Dog on a Stick. So, were you impressed with the custom level editor, but you just wished you could design better levels? Levels as complete and awesome as the ones in the game? Well, look no further, because Dog on a Stick actually has a second level editor, much like Balloonorama. So, to access this level editor, you're gonna need ScumVM, and hit Control D. This little menu will come up, and type in Room... 5. And this is the level editor that the game designers actually used to create all their different levels. So this requires a bit of explanation as to how you're going to do this. So first up we've got background. This is the easiest one. This determines what type of level you want. So there's Rome, there's the beach, boxes refers to the crate factory, the greenhouse, castle, car town gas and tires, the junkyard, the Bongo Jungle, the Desert, the Penguin Paradise. These blank ones up here refer to just Rome. Space has the Rome background, but weird tiles? I'll get more into that in a bit. There was actually an unused graphic set that was going to be in the game called The Kitchen. It's actually pretty complete. It's actually pretty uh, cool. I'll definitely get into that in a bit. And then Tokyo refers to the bonus level background. So just as a test, I'm going to use uh, let's say the desert. <laughs> I really like the desert tile set. So that's what I'll be using. So we have a couple options. The first and most basic one is tile. This determines what type of tile you want to make. So for example, you've got the top section of the platform and the bottom section of the platform. So this is something that you actually couldn't really use in the custom level editor. It was just defaulted to one type. So there are four different tops. That one, that one, which is a bit wider, so you're going to want a different bottom. That one, and then that one is meant for floating platforms with no bottom. So for example, let's say we want to make a big platform. Now we're going to have to change the bottom to that. Because the other two are just not wide enough. So it'll look bad unless we do that one. We can also determine what fiend we want on top. So whether that's the bone, the start, the exit, oil... We've got tons of different options, even more so than the regular level editor, because as you can see, we can put in these extra po point bonus things. We've got the bonus exit, the bonus button that triggers the bonus exit. We'll get more into train and tracks in a bit, as well as disappear. So we got bears, the cats, the billy goats, frogs, skunks, the beach balls, the penguins. The presents used for the bonus levels, pig jetpacks, hedgehogs, and the weird blobs. So just to start, I'm going to put the entrance, so I'm going to put it, say, right here. Now let's make a platform that looks like that, with the exit on it. Let's put the exit, like, right there. So now we just need to create a path to the exit. So let's make it a relatively simple path with, uh, with clementines along the way. That's pretty simple. And now let's throw in a couple of enemies, shall we? Just to make it a bit more interesting. So let's put in some billy goats. I feel like billy goats should be in the desert area. And I didn't mention this in the custom level editor, but it applies to both the custom level editor and this level editor. You can only have six critters on any given stage. If you try to put more on, it just won't work. So let's make a level like that. So there's an option to print the level. I don't know why you would do that, because it's not terribly useful. Eraser will let us erase different uh, tiles that we've put down. Replot, I believe, starts a new level. Nope, never mind. Print 100 levels, <laughs> don't use that. New level will wipe the slate clean. Back to main menu will take you back to, well, the main menu. The save and load options exist, but I can't get them to work on my computer. So the only thing left that we really want to do is hit test level. Look out for the rascally critters! So as you can see, we just made ourselves a desert level. I always wondered why the goats never made it onto the desert. I feel like this world was made for the billy goats. I'm coming, Pep. 
And as you can see, enemies will always have bones beneath where they were originally. And we get to hear this music now in uh, the custom level editor, which is pretty cool. Now let's say you made a desert level, but you're like, I don't know, I'd rather have this be like a tundra level. All you have to do is change the background. And it's that simple. Now let's add a couple more tiles, shall we? Tundra tile set's a bit annoying because the bottom sticks up above the top, so you can't actually see what you're placing. Alright. So one thing that was not very intuitive was the train and track. So train refers to the different targets. So let's make a train like this. So the train's going to start on that tile. Now we, we, what we want to do is... Oh, hang on. We want to make a track. So the, putting the track next to the train will make the train move along that given track. So we, like if we make tracks along there... Get as many bones as you can, and then go to the checkered flag! So the target starts there, and now it's going to move on the track up that way. And now that it's hit the end of the track, it should go back there. Never mind, it goes back along the track that way. So it's pretty simple. Also, you can hit exit and it'll take you back to the level editor. So let's say we want to make it a bit more interesting. Oh. Darn it. So yeah, we'll hit the eraser and delete those pieces. Uh, let's put in an ice cream cone, shall we? Oh, whoops. Gotta have a bottom. Alright, yeah, let's say we want to make it a bit more interesting with the tracks. So let's make a train starting here, and we want it to go in a circle. Well, one option we could do, actually... Oh, that's the top. We could make two trains going this way. Then put track along that way. Let's see what happens. Get as many bones as you can! So if unless I'm mistaken, it should just be like... And then go back to up and down. Yep! There's a lot of different cool stuff you can do with the tracks. So let's... Uh, if you right click, you can edit a tile, which is kind of cool. And let's change the background to... Uh, junkyard. Get as many bones as you can, and then go to the checkered flag! I forgot about the upside down trash can lids. That's something they actually never used in the regular game. So I'm curious if this will go in a circle, or if this will go there and then move counterclockwise backwards. Makes it go in a circle. Excellent. So, pretty simple. So now it's time for me to show off uh, one of the other tile sets that wasn't used in the game. So, if we go to background, you'll notice the space looks a lot like the Rome tile set. Like, it literally looks like the Rome tile set. But if we test the level... Get as many bones as you can, and then go to the checkered flag! It'll give us the kitchen background, and the pillars will have a weird glitchy balloonist to them. This looks like a heavily unfinished tile set. It also just carries the music over from whatever was last playing. Now going into the kitchen tile set, this is almost complete. Almost. You'll notice, like, you're jumping on cans, and the cans look almost complete. Like, a, f there are a couple of the cans are missing some textures, as well as a lot of the cans are, miss are using kind of glitchy textures, like you'll notice. You'll notice that poodle is the same poodle that was in Circus Storming. Kind of interesting. Alright, let me show off something else. Yeah, so we got a couple different cans here that to choose from. 
I'm just gonna make a blank tile. Yeah, so let's go on the bonus buttons. So let's say bonus let's make the bonus button there. Oh wait, hang on. Oh you can make two bonus buttons apparently. I did not know that. That is not what I wanted. And print level causes the game to crash. Alright, well the game crashed when I tried to print, so don't click that button. So, let's see... Uh, yeah, you can actually do the bonus level tile set for regular levels. So for example, we'll just start out with a platform like that. Make the exit, like, right next to us, and we'll create a few other tiles. Boop, 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 boop. Let's make some lemons! Yeah, so I'll show off bonus button. So we can put a bonus button there. Bonus exit there, how about... All right, we can test it out. Look, a prime. So it still has the bonus music, but it's not a bonus level. Oh yeah! Oh, and apparently on the uh, Tokyo background, those little tiles are a little glitched up. But as you can see, there's no way to actually get bonus levels with this editor, as far as I know. So that's a bit of a problem. I'll also show off one cool thing that was actually put in the game, but it's inaccessible through just the regular game because they never put it in. Alright, so let's erase those two platforms. Alright. If you use the penguins on this tile set, something truly magical happens. Let's test the level. Don't worry, no adorable Hawaiian Hurry beach shirts! Catch all those <laughs> yes, the designers actually programmed the penguins to have these special Hawaiian shirts in the beach world only. But because the penguins never actually appear in the beach world, it never happens. And when they dance with you, they lose the shirt temporarily, which is kind of funny. Alright, that's almost everything, so... Let's go back to the kitchen tile set and I can show off... Uh, how to use the buttons. Alright, so there are buttons 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So you can have 5 different buttons that do different things. So let's just do button 1, and we'll put it, say, right there. So now what we can do is... Here. Let's make a new tile that has something cool on it. make a tile that has hot cocoa on it. So there's this other thing down here, normal. We can change that to button one and hit check that. So let's put a hot chocolate right there. So that's associated with bubble one, uh, button one. So if we test the level, oh, hey. So now if we push that, what the heck? That's not how I thought it worked. Alright. Um... Okay. Let me try something else. Let's try button one. Button one, check. That doesn't work. Okay, I can't really get the buttons to work. Let's try a different background. Maybe it's just glitchy in the kitchen area? Uh, let's do castle. Boom, boom, ba-doom. 
boom, boom, boom. Oh, interesting. There's a one by these different tiles. Okay. So if we edit this tile and put... Let's put a cherry up there. So let's see if we push this button and it'll make a platform appear there, maybe. Nope. Alright, the penguins are being a little annoying. Let's just erase those two platforms so the penguins can dance with themselves. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. Let's try it. unchecking the button one. This is weird. Okay. I'm trying to piece this together. So it looks like... Oh! I think I get it. I think I get it now. Oh, I think I get it. Okay, so if we want... Here. Uh... So let's just flat out erase that one. So let's put... Try... Not background. Oh, yeah, let's change the background. Let's go to gas and tires. Alright. So I'm going to create a tile that normally is just nothing. It doesn't exist there. Now for button one, it's going to look like just a regular bone. So now, unless I'm mistaken, I believe if button one is unactivated, this will just be blank, but if button one is activated, it'll have the bone square. Nope. Okay, I'm very confused. I don't really know how the buttons work. In the comments, if you can figure out a way to make... Okay, that... Hang on. That's something. Makes the hot chocolate appear there. So I want to know what's special about this. Okay. I think I get it now. I think I get it. Okay, I think I get it now. So, making a new tile. So it's blank for this, for normal. For button one, we're going to check it. And create just an oil slick platform, just as a test. No? What the heck? Okay, there. Apparently it didn't save that we checked it for button 1. So when it's got the little 1 in the corner, it means that's what it'll look like for when the button gets pressed. No? What the heck? Okay, I'm very confused. This button thing is inconsistent and not working. Okay, I can't get that to work, so... New level. Uh, let's see... Let's just make the hardest level imaginable, how about... <laughs> 
Uh, we did Junkyard already. Actually, we've done pretty much everything. Let's do Castle. Let's have all the worst enemies, shall we? So we'll have a Billy Goat. We'll have a Frog, of course. Skunk, why not? Yeah, penguins are adorable. Jetpack pig, obviously. Um, that should not be there. Before we put all the rest of the enemies there, we should put the finishing touches. Actually, I think this music makes a great level editor theme. Boom, boom, boom. Last Fain Hedgehog. Cool. <laughs> Let's try this one. Uh oh, I think I smell a gun. I smell stuff a lot worse than that, Pud Pud. Oh, hey! I didn't realize the pigs actually slipped! I actually never realized that. I thought they were too cool with their fancy... fancy jetpacks. Okay, so on this level, the pigs are just gonna be like any other character. But it's still cool enough to show off, darn it. Yeah, the billy goats and the frogs are going to be immune to the oil and the green stuff. Blech. Oh my gosh! The penguins when they get stuck on the little... <laughs> the penguins are so adorable when they slip! And when they get stuck on the green slimy stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I showed that off. The penguin slipping is so adorable! Oh no! Stupid Billy Goat! <laughs> Yeah, I, I defy anyone to make a level harder than this unless you put, like, f six frogs around, I bet. <laughs> Actually, the funny thing is you could even make this level just in the regular level editor. Just replace every enemy with a frog. And, you know, use a different tile set. Okay, that, I think, is everything I know about Dog on a Stick, so I think I will have to end the Let's Play off here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. <laughs> What better way to end than with penguins dancing with us on an oil slick in a castle? Pep, you be careful out there! I hope to see you for the next Humongous Entertainment Let's Play. Not sure when that'll be, but let's just say I'll, I'm up for another junior well, arcade in the future. We'll try this again later. You took the words right out of my mouth, Pup Pup. Anyhow, next Humongous Entertainment Let's Play will probably be the Freddy Fish Maze Madness Junior Arcade, which is 
easily my favorite junior arcade, and I will have a blast doing that. I hope you guys had a blast watching this Let's Play, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, and God bless.